the mating game we call it. It's one of the most difficult areas of extrusion design and it's in achieving good mating sections. The difficulty being that what makes a good fit can be so subjective. To one a tight fit is good, to another a relatively loose fit can do the job. It's really understanding what, what people are trying to achieve, that's the key. We recall a situation some years ago, the trunking system, similar in principle to this, but the it was a channel type section with 200mm across the base, 100mm legs, 2.5mm wall thickness, with a tip-in lid, very flimsy. The customer's drawing showed uh, a tolerance of plus or minus 0.2 across the open legs, uh, and the BS tolerance was plus or minus 4, a range of 8mm. They were poles apart. Now, we probed what was really sought, and the answer, the customer wanted the lid to make a, a, a sound like that when it closed. Similar to this, if you're looking at a trunking section. Nice, tight, positive fit. And he wanted a nurse to be able to open it with the corner of a credit card. And that, we said, we can do. Fit really is determined by understanding extrusion tolerances and also using the process variables, twist, straightness, etc., that can help affect the required fit over long or short lengths. What makes a good clip fit? Tight or loose, it's invariably the clip fit we're involved with right from the start. Thank you.